This video is sponsored by Squarespace. They say without risk comes no reward. And I enjoy taking risks. I've done it my whole life. From throwing myself around on a BMX to quitting my full-time job. A lot of the risks I've taken with cars though seem to have paid off. But that was until today. So yep, that's right. I've gone and bought another damaged car. But let me explain the story behind buying this car. So Hannah wanted a new car. At the minute, she drives a two-litre diesel Audi Q5. She wanted something big, easy to drive, economical, and something cheap to run. So, I've bought her this. A 2014 C63 with a 6.3 litre naturally accelerated V8, 451 bhp, rear wheel drive, averages around 18 miles a gallon. This was exactly what she wanted. Now we did leave a terrible clue in the last video. Wanted this car for six years and three months. Did you get it from that? I don't know. So this was exactly what you wanted, wasn't it? Yeah. Preferably, I wanted it to drive. <laughs> <laughs> well, it will drive uh, eventually, but wh why did you want the C63? Um, I wanted something that was faster than your cars. Oh, and yeah, nice. I like the interior and I like the engine. And I've always wanted one. My dad's always wanted one, so I kind of wanted to want to get one before he did. <laughs> well, yeah, they're, they're a good car. Um, I'm not too sure about this one. You wanted a project, didn't you? Yeah, but, uh, yeah, a little bit of a project. This is like... <laughs> <laughs> well... well Let's explain the story about this. So yeah, as Hannah's mentioned, this is actually gonna be a little bit more of a project than we first initially thought. It's actually been dressed up and I paid a completely wrong price for this car. Got a little bit ripped off, but it happens. Let me show you what I thought was wrong. Crash bar looks all intact. There's no front bumper. There's uh, no grill. Headlights a little bit out of line, but not to worry. There's no oil cooler here. It's just been replaced with a pipe. Parts missing here and on the other side as well, but all to be expected. But all in all, the actual crash bar looks in good nick. So it didn't look like it's gone any further back than that. Now I've got here what I thought to be just some sort of suspension damage. Nothing drastic. It's pushed the wheel back. Maybe just an arm or something like that. Dented door and no side skirt. Again, nothing drastic. Some sort of weird damage to the rear bumper. Again, looks fixable. We don't really look like I have to replace the rear bumper. Dentcraft in Birmingham could probably sort that out. Now this part did worry me a little bit, but I did call the guy and he said, yes, the boot does close. That is the boot closed. So at first thought, I thought, okay, maybe it just doesn't line up. But we'll get to that later in the video. Airbag can be replaced on the steering wheel, not expensive. Knee bag airbag can be replaced as well. Again, not expensive. And you can get away with doing a smart repair on the bottom. So you don't have to do the whole dashboard replacement. Seats look nice. It's got nice 19 inch AMG alloys. It's only done 36,000 miles and it's only had one owner. Now bearing that all in mind, I actually thought I got this for a really good price. And if you want to find out the price, you're going to have to click that subscribe button because I'm going to tell you it in a future video. So all in all, seems like a good deal, right? Wrong. This car has a worse history and has been in a worse accident than what we originally thought. Now, stupidly enough, I actually bought this car without seeing it, but it doesn't come to a shock to me because I buy a lot of cars without going to see them first, thanks to good websites and good photos on the websites. Now, the company I bought this off did have a good website and good photos online, and it just goes to show you the power that a website can have. Which is where today's sponsor, Squarespace, comes into place. From websites to online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build and run your online business. In this day and age, if your business, online blog, or whatever you do doesn't have a website, then you need to catch up. And Squarespace is a great place to do that. Whether you're an expert or a beginner, you can easily set up a website with Squarespace. Check this out. With Squarespace, there's thousands of templates to choose from, so it's really easy to start your base. I'm starting with this one. We can simply drag and drop logos on there, drag and drop our photos on there, and the, and the website begins to look your own already. On the left hand side here, you've got a bunch of stuff to help push your website as well. So if you need a website, or when you do, go to squarespace.com or click the link in the description box below. And when you're ready to launch, use code Matt Armstrong and you're gonna get yourself 10% off your first website or domain name. Thanks Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Now let me explain how I got truly ripped off with this C63. <laughs> Wrong.
Right, fasten your seatbelts because this is about to get a little bit ropey. I actually found this C63 back in June on a website called Copart, which is an auction site for crash damaged cars. It looks exactly the way that I have got it now with the front end on it and the crash bar is up clearly on the front as you can see and it didn't look too bad as it didn't look too bad now. Instead, I actually bought my A45 AMG, which you would have seen, the videos are in the top right hand corner. But I'm sure this C63 sold for not much less than what I bought it for now. So the company I bought it off is literally just a company which buys cars from auction, crash damage, and then lists them straight on eBay afterwards to just try and make a, a quick profit. And uh, So I've seen it go for sale straight the way afterwards on eBay. At the time I had the A45, I kept watching it but had no real general interest in getting a C63 at that time. Months passed and this C63 stayed on eBay and the price dropped and dropped. Obviously now I know it was for a reason. And finally it came to the time now where I thought it would be a good idea to get another project for the channel which would be cool for you guys to watch. And it just so happened that I bought another naturally accelerated V8 engine. But who can say no to a C63? I went in with a really low offer and after negotiating for a bit, I got it for an actual really good price. That was until I found out what else is wrong with it. So surprisingly this C63 does actually start, run and drive to an extent but i don't like doing that because there's literally no coolant in it um there is obviously no oil cooler it's just been replaced with this pipe you can actually see the oil in there as well and from looking down here there is no auxiliary belt on it and it's not been on there for a while so the battery doesn't charge and there's probably a water pump connected to that maybe and uh, the power steering pump as well so there's no power steering at all so i don't like starting it i don't like running it so for now i'm pushing it forward and backwards and this is where it gets interesting so straight away I noticed that the wing um, is well not bolted on correctly the bonnet was a different color it was actually black you can see it underneath here it's actually black not gray so that's already been replaced and uh, this side which had obviously no damage in the photos the door has got quite a big panel gap not something that I would expect the boot, now although he said it does close, that is actually closed, it doesn't quite line up and I've pushed that as far forward as I can on the adjustment. So I was like, what the hell is going on? I then came to this side, notice brand new arch lining, still with the Mercedes stickers on it, on a crash damaged car, you're thinking that surely will be battered. And then the wheels, it just doesn't look like there's a scratch on them, even though you can see that there's severe sort of suspension problems there. It's all been pushed out, but the, the wheel looks fine. Now the front end, now you can see it in this light, it actually is a little bit of a different color. So it looks like the bonnet and the wings have already been replaced and painted, and well, they're absolutely terribly color matched. Yes, we have got this steering wheel airbag that's gone off and the knee airbag gone off, but alongside that, all the seat bolts are locked out this one has actually been cut that one is locked out and that one is locked out as well so this is where alarm bells start ringing because the crash bar looks in pretty much good condition yet the steering wheel airbag's gone off the knee airbag's gone off and all the seat belts are locked out so you're thinking well it couldn't have been that bad of a crash if the crash bars like that but yet all the airbags have gone this is where i investigated further now i can't put it on the ramps because i can't drive it off and on the ramp so we're just going to use the jack for now And what you're about to see now is the reason why this project is going to cost a lot more and take a lot longer than I originally thought. So I took the wheel off here to inspect to see what sort of damage was caused to the suspension arm to see that it was sitting so far back and there is literally barely any damage, bends or cracks to any of the suspension arms like that is supposed to be like that, that is fine. So then why does the wheel fit sit? so far back well right here is the answer you can see this frame leg here it is bent in there is bolts hanging out of the crash bar here they're just not even put in the frame here as you can see that is right pushed in there so the actual frame of the car is all bent and then 
there's a huge dent here and it's actually pulled away from the car there. So what's happened is the whole frame is actually twisted that way, pushing this side towards us and that side backwards. So obviously the subframe mounts to that frame and there's no bolts going into the subframe probably because they don't line up anymore. And just here you can see um, how bent it actually is. That is obviously supposed to be coming out straight. That is not lining up at all. The whole frame of this car and geometry is completely out. So the chance of trying to line wings up or anything, you've got no chance until the frame is right. At this point, I'm having a meltdown. I've got no experience in frame damage. I don't even know if that could be fixed. And now do I have a C63, which is just an expensive ornament in my unit. But then I remembered all the other cars that you have watched me rebuild and do, and every time I've bought one of them, I've always felt overwhelmed with the amount of work that needs doing, and can I actually repair it, can I get it back on the road? And every time, we've smashed it, we've done it. I was thinking, let's get this car back together, get it delivered straight back to the place I bought it from, get our money back, and be done with this car. Like, this is way out of my league. But then I remember the reason why I do all these cars and the amount of job satisfaction that I get from doing them and all the help that you guys give me from smashing the subscribe button and hitting the thumbs up button as well. And I changed my mind. I spoke to a few people that own frame jigs and they said they've seen a lot worse and they could probably straighten this out and get it as straight as what it should be. Now, if it wasn't for making these videos on YouTube, by rebuilding this car, I'd probably be making a huge loss and it really just wouldn't be worth it. But this car is gonna be the biggest challenge as of yet and these C63s have huge potential. So I'm willing to push through this build and do it for you guys and of course, Hannah, who wants the car at the end of it. But the story does not end here. So what does this mean for this boot that doesn't line up and the front end which got replaced? How has this happened? So after going home and researching more about the car, of which we should have done before we bought it, we actually found the original listing of this C63 in June on Copart. And look at the damage of it. A lot worse than when it was listed in July. The whole front end is all smashed up. It's got even more damage to the rear, especially on the rear boot and the bumper as well. It looks like a completely different car. So here's my theory on this whole thing. In June, when it went on Copart for sale, maybe it didn't sell, or maybe it did sell, but whoever bought it or had it afterwards, dressed it up to look like it had been in less of a crash than what it had been in. So then when they re-auctioned it in July, it would fetch more money because it doesn't look like it's been in as bad of a crash. The boot had a big dent in the middle there on one of the photos. This boot is actually white or was white. They didn't even take the badges off to paint it. You can just see underneath it. They literally taped over the badges and painted it. There's even white there. That is absolutely atrocious behavior. There's not much damage to the frame down here. I mean, this is questionable, but again, doesn't look too bad to the point where I think the boot would be as bad lined up as that. Now, my only theory with this is that this is the wrong boot for the car. C63s, this model, come in saloons and coupes. I think this one is a saloon boot on a coupe car. The only way I'd find out is trying to find the part number and Googling it. But I think that's the reason why this doesn't fit. God knows why they did that. But at the end of the day, being negative about this whole situation is gonna get me absolutely nowhere. We're gonna stay positive, and me and you guys together are gonna to rebuild this and make it into one of the best builds on the channel. Hopefully. Now it is true what they say, you win some and you lose some. But I've also heard the phrase, if it's not your day, make it your day. So I'm feeling positive, pumped and ready to not only get this car back on the road, but to make it one of the best builds that we have done today. I know that we can do it with help from you guys. And you can help me in a free way just by clicking the subscribe button and obviously hitting the thumbs up button. And if you didn't want to help yourself even more than that, then go to mattarmstrong.co.uk. The link is in the description box below and go and copy yourself something like, like one of these Bentley build hoodies. And use code MattBlack for 10% discount. That's right, I've extended the Black Friday discount code. So we have got a lot to be getting on with. 
Once again, thanks to every single one of you that are watching these videos every single week, hitting the thumbs up button, smashing the subscribe button, and sharing the content. I literally could not do this without any of you guys, and all the help and support is just much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one. Peace out.